Merry Christmas everyone welcome back to my youtube channel it is the season of love and I thought what better topic to talk about other than love itself what really is love how do you know you are in love hi there to my new viewers and thank you for clicking on this video if you are interested in knowing about how to be accepted in your relationship or any relationship having a long-lasting one and all of that good stuff then you should start now by subscribing i don't want you to miss out on other informative videos as this love is giving someone the power to destroy you but trusting that they won't i saw this somewhere in my younger days and it just stuck with me growing up for two reasons first true love gives and secondly true love trusts if your love cannot give and is not willing to trust, then forget about it. You are not in love. Because the first thing every lover gives in all relationships is themselves. And the very first thing you will have to trust is yourself. The decision to love and the many decisions you will make in the journey of loving this person requires you trusting yourself. That the choice you are making is one you fully believe in. Love is also a function of willingness. It is not something that you do not have a choice over. To simplify it, love is a choice. It is in your will to decide to love or not love someone, contrary to many beliefs. Yes, you can feel love, but it is an emotion that is greater than feeling. When you are in love, you always want to be together. And when you are not, you are thinking about being together. You know you are in love because they become priority and now you are even ignoring more attractive people for their sake. There are many ways to show that you love someone, but the best way I recommend is to talk about it. Tell the person you love you love them, not your friend, not their friend either, but them. They are the ones that need to know, they are the ones that need to hear it. One notion I want to quickly correct is believing you can only fall in love just once in a lifetime. That is wrong. Scientists have come up with a claim, which I also believe, that you can fall in love at least four times during your lifetime. That is great news for someone out there believing their heart is too broken to try again. In the spirit of Christmas, I think you should. Do you know that when a man is in love, his curiosity about you is heightened. He begins to scan out your likes and dislikes, trying to be a better man so as to win you over. Don't worry, I won't be partial. When a woman is in love, do you know she becomes physically aware, hoping she meets your view on how your woman should physically look? Do you know when both partners are in love with each other, none of that matters anymore? I also want you to know that people want to be sure that they are loved. Do not allow familiarity with your spouse limit how you show them your love. If you are married, try to balance your relationship with your spouse without replacing them with your kids. Before the kids, they were the ones you knew. In fact, you met the kids only because you met them. Remember that. For my bonus love fraud for this week, it is taken from 1 Corinthians 13 verse 4 to 7 and it says that love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a sweared head, doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't reveal when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Be sure to like this video, I know you learned from it. Share to others and also make sure you are subscribed and turn on the notification bell beside the subscribe button to get notified when I post new content. See you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.